So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today this is going to be the fourth uh, episode for the um, Rock Blaster 2.0 and this video is sponsored by the subscribe button so if you have not uh, clicked the subscribe button please smash the subscribe button, click the like button as well and ring the notification bell. So without further ado let's start on the video. So uh, we're going to start out on the enemies so we're going to be broadcasting a message at the bottom because this is if it's touching the uh, rocket ship. So let's broadcast a message called Game Over. So the player can actually die when it's touching the enemies. So I am going to go to the, um, uh, the, um, player. And then in the player, I'm gonna do, um, what, uh, when I receive Game Over. Game Over. Stop other scripts in this break. And then, um, also, we're going to go back to the um, enemies. Uh, when I receive game over, we are also going to stop other scripts in the sprite. So then the rocks and enemies will not move. So stop other scripts in the sprite. So now we have the code. So now the player can actually die. And then we have to do go to the game over. We have to go to the game over um, sprite. We have the game over sprite here. So... Uh, when I receive game over, game over, so we have to go into the um, game over sprite. And uh, when I receive game over, I want to show uh, and then stop all. Stop all, and then we want to do a one flag clicked. Go to the front layer. Go to the front layer. We want to go to zero zero because that's the center of the screen, and then we want to hide from the beginning. Okay, so now we have all of the uh, code done here, and you can also play some sounds, like the losing sound. Play lose until done, um, so then it'll let the player know that he lost, he or she lost. So now we can work on other buttons. So this button right here, so this button, all it does is you can change it back to the original skin. And before we continue to the other um, sprites, there's one bug we need to fix. So as you can see, if you, uh, if you shoot, after you die, you can still shoot. So to get rid of that, let's go to the laser. And then what we want to do when I receive, um, when I receive game over, then we want to stop other scripts in the sprite. So I'm going to try it now, and now you cannot shoot. As you can see, you can't shoot anymore. Um, so next, we want to work on the buttons. So as I said, Let's move on to the other buttons. So what the, what this one does is just uh, switch it back to the normal skin. So now let's add some code for the um, buttons. So let's get up when I receive start game. When I receive start game, let's switch the costume to costume one. Costume one, which is the um, regular costume, and this one's the uh, one selected costume. So we want to keep it on the first costume, and then we want to hide in the beginning, and then get a one flag clicked. Zoom in a little bit. When flag clicked, we want to hide and then switch costume to costume one. Um, so reset everything as well in the beginning. And then when I receive game over, we want to hide the sprite. Game over, we want to hide the sprite. And then when I receive open shop, we have to, um, we can just get it from here actually. Just drag and drop this code into the the yellow one so this is the sprite so you can select back so we will not need to purchase anything so all the code is the same except for the x and y position so i set it at negative 175 and y is 80 that's where i set it you can set it anywhere you want but i set it over there and then um instead of uh this one we gotta switch we have to make a new message called switch to red spaceship switch to red spaceship so it'll, it'll switch back to the default skin and so yeah that's it for the um this one and then we have to go back to the player um not the player the uh laser sorry about that we have to go back here and add one uh little bit of code so when i receive pause game we want to actually stop all, stop other scripts in the sprite, 
and delete this clone. So when you pause the game, you can't shoot anything. So it'll delete the clones and stop other scripts in the sprite when it's a pause game. So next, let's work on the um, other purchase buttons. So for the player, we need to switch the color for the spaceships. So in the beginning, um, we already switched it to the red costume. So we need to, when I receive, when I receive, switch the red costume, red spaceship, then we want to switch costume to the red costume. Red costume. And so that's uh, the thing. And then we need to do one more thing. When I receive pause game, then we want to stop other scripts in the sprite. Okay, so now we have that. Let's move on to the other skins and um, force field. So for the uh, cool spaceship right here, we need to make some new variables. So we will make uh, one new variable called cool spaceship purchase status. Cool, cool spaceship purchase stat. Yes. Like we did to the other spaceship, we did the same thing. So for the uh, for here, we can just drag and drop the same code into here, and we can also drag and drop uh, this piece of code right here. And here, we just have to change some stuff up, and then we can drag and drop this, this, and this. We just have to uh, change the code uh, a lot. So let's move, I'm just gonna separate everything. So let's do that. And then for here, we need a new X and Y position. So for me, I did uh, X as 75 and the Y as 80. Um, you can do whatever you want, of course. And then instead of check spaceship purchase right here, we have to make a new me a message called check cool space ship purchase so then it'll switch the costume to the cool spaceship and then for here we're gonna have to uh when i receive uh check cool spaceship purchase right here and then instead of right here we're gonna use the new variable cool spaceship purchase status and then instead of right here we're gonna broadcast switch to cool spaceship purchase status switch to cool uh spaceship new message switch Switch to cool spaceship new message. New message, and then we stop the script. That's all the same. And then I made the price instead of one thousand to two thousand five hundred to buy the skin because it looks a bit cooler. So we're gonna change the price, and instead of negative one thousand, we're gonna negative two thousand five hundred. And then instead right here, we're gonna change it to cool spaceship status to unlocked. Switch costume, costume two, and instead right here we're gonna do switch to cool spaceship. Switch to cool spaceship. Else we want to set the uh, cool spaceship purchase status and switch costume to one. And right here instead we're gonna have to use uh, the check cool cool spaceship uh, purchase. Check cool spaceship purchase. Okay. Um, and right here we're gonna have to do the cool spaceship purchase status for the variable and this has to change as well to this cool spaceship purchase status so yeah now we have we just changed everything in here let's go back to the player so for the player we're gonna have to like change the costume so uh, I'm just gonna duplicate this uh, we're gonna receive um, cool I switch to cool spaceship right here. Then I'll switch to the cool spaceship costume. This one. So yeah. That's the costumes. And um and before I go any further, I will show you guys um the buttons. So I'm just gonna So as you can see now you can die. And then um I'm gonna set my money to like five thousand so I can show you everything. So I'm just gonna Press P, open the shop, click here, and then I can just buy one of these, and I'll set it as the costume. And now, 
as you can see, I have the cool spaceship. And same thing goes with the other costume. See, if I click this, select it, now I got this costume. And if I um, and if if I do this one, this one's the free costume. So let's say I already buy this one, and then I uh, come back. So let's say I go back here, and then I go back. Let's go back, and then I can reselect this one, and then exit, and then I get this one again. Back to the normal red spaceship. Okay, so now we have all that down. So I think we will start stop right here, and in the next video we will work on the force fields and the scatter shot. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell. See you guys in the next part of the series.